Hey geeks, have you ever imagined Boruto, the star of his own saga, facing death in the middle of the Boruto manga? With new enemies on the horizon, it's possible that Boruto might not survive, but let's dive in together to understand how this could unfold and its connection to past events. Prepare for a mind-blowing journey, but only metaphorically speaking. Of course, attention all nerds, Boruto is now facing a league of ultra mega powerful enemies. New adversaries keep emerging, each more formidable than the last. We've seen code theoretically stronger than Naruto and, and Seisu combined, and now we're introduced to the Jews freaking egos who are even more powerful than code. The power scale just keeps climbing. In this ever evolving saga, Boruto might find himself overwhelmed in these battles, but he's likely to survive. Hit that like button and let's explore this theory together. Remember, your support helps bring more theories to this channel. The fact is, Boruto's power will only continue to rise. The narrative approach post time skip was relatively calm at first, with characters growing stronger, but not to an astronomical level. Now, however, things are escalating rapidly. Towards the end of the series, characters like Naruto and Sasuke achieved divine powers, and villains like Madara and Obito harnessed the Jube's might. Taguaya was the strongest of them all. Have you noticed how dramatically the power graph has soared from the beginning to the end? Boruto's journey would be no different. He started off stronger than Naruto at the end of his saga, demonstrating his might against Korra and Code, though in theory, as Code's practical power hasn't quite lived up to the hype. Boruto has already shown incredible strength, such as using the planet's rotation power. Yes, you heard that right, the planet's rotation. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Boruto has much more power to unleash. For him to evolve, he needs worthy adversaries, and we've seen what he did to Code, thoroughly overpowering him. Poor Code has been replaced as the main threat by the Jub's Echoes, the evolved forms of Coach's Dirty Heroes. These Echoes, gaining consciousness and acting independently, pose new and curious threats. From one chapter to the next, we saw Boruto overpower Code, only to retreat under the pressure of these new creatures. Thus, the evolution from Code to these entities marks the arrival of powerful enemies that will push Boruto's development. They are becoming more powerful and numerous, setting up a gigantic challenge for Boruto. He, he must be cautious to avoid death, but if he fails and dies, it won't necessarily be the end of the manga. Instead, it could mark a new beginning. The way Boruto's character is being shaped lately differs from other protagonists we've seen. He seems more tragic, always surrounded by discussions of fate and loss. First, it was Mochi predicting he would lose everything, and this fate materialized when Ida used her omnipotence, causing Boruto to lose everything, his family, friends, and all he held dear. Now, the main ego of the Jub is back with talk of Boruto's fated life, suggesting more tragedy ahead. Having lost everything, including Sasuke, Boruto only has his hope and life left. Therefore, I believe there's a significant chance Boruto might die in the story, but this wouldn't mean the end of his tale. In fact, it could be quite the opposite. Boruto is a full of Tsutsuki, and we mustn't forget that. He possesses all the capabilities of an Otsutsuki, including marking someone with karma. The Otsutsukes have survived for millennia using this strategy. They mark a susceptible individual with karma and upon their death they can return through the slowly unpacking karma in that person. The data from the karma replaces that of the marked individual until they become a vessel for the Otsutsuka's rebirth. Boruto, faced with the chance to use his Atsutsuki power, stands at a crossroads. Why not embrace his heritage, especially when hope seems to dwindle against overwhelming foes? The question arises, who would bear the brunt of Boruto's Otsutsuki abilities? My eyes are on code since his introduction. Code has been more of a practice target than a formidable foe, easily bested by almost every character except a few minor ones to flex his muscles. Mm. His character, trapped in a cycle of defeat, is at a crucial juncture. He once believed himself to be superior, but Boruto's strength shattered that illusion. Moreover, Code is losing his grip on his minions, and the Jub, once under his control, is now a looming threat. Code's situation is dire. His dreams of revenge against Boruto, whom he confused with Kawak, and his plan to feed Kawak to the Jub for the growth of the Divine Tree are crumbling. Boruto's unexpected strength and the Jub's independent actions have flipped the script. There's a slim chance that if the Egos consume Boruto and Kawak and Code seizes the Chakra Fruit, he could rise in power. However, this scenario seems unlikely as the creation of the Chakra Fruit would require a catastrophic toll on life across the planet. Code, now cornered and with limited options, faces a pivotal moment. 
will he uncover hidden strengths or receive an extraordinary power boost? The story's direction hangs in balance as we ponder the fate of Code in the shadow of the looming divine tree. Considering Code's limited options, he's losing relevance in the story. If something doesn't serve the narrative, why keep it? So why didn't the writer let Code die devoured by his own minions? It would have been a brutal and incredible scene, but he's being kept for a reason. I can envision a redemption for Code, although it's hard to imagine what he could redeem himself for having achieved so little. In the latest chapter, with Baruto calling on Code for help, there seems to be a chance for Code to join forces with Baruto against their common enemies. Despite Code initially abandoning Baruto, there's a possibility he might end up sealing Baruto. In this scenario, I can see Code volunteering to be marked by Baruto's karma, given his admiration for the Otutsukis and desire to serve them. Now that Baruto is an Atsusuki, it would be an interesting sacrifice for Code. In this way, he would carry Baruto's DNA in the karma, and his existence would be erased when the karma unpacks to resurrect Baruto. Perhaps at this point in the story, the writer will make us sympathize with Code, making his sacrifice impact. Remember, this theory of Baruto marking Code with karma and living through isn't new and didn't just pop out of nowhere. Naruto Next Generations, where Kawak suggests Boruto prepare his own vessel so that when Momoi revives in Baruto, Baruto could revive in Code. This was a long dialogue scene, and the writer dedicated time to explore this possibility, planting the seed for future developments. Now that Momoi can no longer revive in Baruto, we face other increasingly powerful dangers. Placing karma on code could ensure not only Baruto's survival, but the survival of the entire world for a little longer. What do you think of this theory? Did I go too far? Comment below if you think it makes sense or not. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on this nerdy, multiversal universe where we discuss everything. Thanks for being here with us, especially if you have notifications turned on. You're awesome. Thanks, everyone. And until next time.